In this video, I will demonstrate attaching a Windows 2016 host to a Storage Center array with SAS I.O. cards. To attach a host to a Storage Center with SAS HBAs, it is important to use the supported HBA along with their supported firmware and drivers. Use the Dell Storage Compatibility Matrix to verify you have the latest supported firmware and drivers. The server needs to have the supported HBA installed and cabled to the array prior to starting the deployment. To download the firmware and drivers, navigate to the Drivers and Download page for the PowerEdge server you are installing. For downloads for your Windows release, click Change OS, then select your OS version. Scroll down to SAS Non-RAID, download both the firmware and drivers. You could use the iDRAC to determine the firmware version, but there is a high probability it needs updating and the update utility will provide the current version. Install the firmware first. Double click the firmware executable. Click run. Click install. The current and target release will be shown. If the firmware is outdated, click yes. If not, click no. Exit and reboot if the firmware was updated. To update the driver, double-click the executable. Click Run. Click Install. The current and target release will be shown. If the firmware is outdated, click Yes. If not, click No. If the firmware was updated, click Yes to reboot. Another prerequisite for attaching a Windows 2016 host is to install MPIO. If using Windows 2012, this step can be skipped as Dell Storage Manager will install it for you. To install MPIO, right-click the Windows icon, click on Programs and Features. Click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. When the wizard opens up, click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Scroll down to Multipath I.O., select it, and click Next. Select the Auto Restart option, then click Yes, and Install. After the server reboots, install Dell Storage Manager Client. Double-click the executable. Click Run. Click OK. Click Next. Click Yes to accept the license agreement. Click Finish. There are two ways to launch the wizard for attaching host. You can select Configure this host to access a storage center, or the other, which we will demonstrate here, select Log into a storage center or data collector. Provide the credentials and log into the storage center. Click on the Storage tab. Right-click on Servers, then choose Create server from localhost. Review the prerequisites and click Next. If everything is cabled correctly, you will see Fully Connected. If not, check your cabling. The two ports of the HBA must be cabled to the same two ports on each controller. The controller I.O. ports do not have LEDs, so rely on the LEDs on the server HBA to verify connectivity. Click Next to continue. MPIO and best practices will be applied to the host. You should receive the Host Setup Successful screen. You can use the Copy to Clipboard feature to save the best practices that were applied. Click on Launch Wizard to create a volume for this host, then click Finish. 
click OK. Update the volume name and click Next. Update the capacity and click Next. Make any modifications necessary for the storage options and click Next. Adjust the snapshot profiles for the volume and click Next. Click Next to map the volume to the server. Click Finish. Reboot the server. After the server reboots, open Disk Management. Locate the new disk, right-click it, and bring it online. Right-click again and choose Initialize Disk. Choose the partition style and click OK. Right-click the partition and then New Simple Volume. Click Next. Next, Next, Next again, then Finish. The volume can now be accessed.